Oh. Alright, I missed this bench twice. It's gonna drive me crazy. This is my second time. I thought I'd have it today. Maybe I should have ate a little bit more. I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep working hard. We're gonna do a ton of accessory work to make sure I hit this. Kyle's about to do his heyday here. This is a big bench for him. I know he's gonna crush it, 295. This goes to 300. We're gonna keep programming and keep pushing because benching has been weak for us. Our deadlifts and squats have been crazy high comparatively. I mean, I guess they're decent, but it's something we're working on and we'll show you things we do to really build it up. Go to attack, let's go, come on. Up, 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 up. Good try, dude. Woo. No excuses. Still hit a little small five pound PR, but I, I really still want 300. So, you know, back to the programming with Josh and we'll crush it soon. You guys have issues with a slippery bench? You just pop his band on around the side here. It'll make a big difference. Who's your back's under the grip? Light pro tip. All right, so since we missed it, we obviously did a lot of heavy rep stuff when we like PR, or anytime we do really low rest, we like to do a lot of back off work. So we get some extra volume in there to really push things out and kind of pump it out. So I've never really played around with this bar. Um, so what we're gonna do today to get a ton of volume is we're just gonna run a plate, do whatever rep scenes we can. I'm gonna try to get 15 each run. I'm sure Kyle will be up there too. I'm gonna start all the way wide, work all the way in. So we're working different areas of our chest and triceps, putting different emphasis on everything. So this will be a good little burnout to really work all these different angles and kind of hit weak spots. I look up. So many. Oh my gosh. So, so many. I done made sacrifices. I, I. So many sacrifices. Straight, straight up. I done gave up so much free time, knowing time ain't free. So one thing we did really well when we were at Fortis, guys, is like we are playing with so many toys at Fortis because they had so many bars. Uh, this gym's really far away from us, believe it or not, but it's like one of the last places we can film, so a huge shout out to them for being super chill. They got dogs in here and stuff. Like, this is a nice gym. If I lived close, I'd be here every day. But they have a lot of toys here. It's a piloting gym. So I want to take advantage of other kinds of bars. So, for instance, safety squat bars, trap bar deadlifts. I want to start initiating this into my program again like we did conjugate. Just hit different angles, keep things fresh, keep things fun. Because at the end of the day, if you're doing the same workouts and the same types of exercises, it gets very stale and it's hard to progress. Because at a certain point, you'll hit your, your kind of your max and you'll keep trying to shove past it. But that's what's so fun about these. And like, for me, when I miss a bench or something or a huge compound, it doesn't demotivate me. It gets me more fired up to look heavier because it shows that I'm weak at something. I need to find ways to get around that and overcome that obstacle. So this is going to be one of our methods. We're going to play around with different bars, have a lot more fun, try to keep things fresh, show you guys, take you through the journey. Just keep crushing it. My girl showed me less, you know I make sacrifices. And if it's real, real love, then you make sacrifices. To get ahead, man, you got to make sacrifices. So I feel like I've been talking a ton, but I got a lot to say. So one thing you guys keep in mind is you can do the same programming and still change exercises to a degree. So like what I'll do with all my online coaching clients is usually every other week, there will be the same framework, right? So they'll be doing a kind of compound push movement, but maybe not the same one. So you can move from a flat barbell to an incline barbell or an incline barbell to an incline dumbbell. Things like small little tweaks where you can keep things fresh. So by switching this bar, instead of just doing a ton of normal bench volume, we're just throwing in variables, keeping it fresh, keeping it new. Same with all my personal training clients. I'll keep them on the same kind of framework, so there's the same skeletons, but each time there'll be different components to make it unique and fresh. This will make the gym a lot more enjoyable for you guys. So if you are programming, try to do it. Try to do it in an intelligent way. If you're not really sure what to do or you want some extra guide, you guys can always apply to online coaching or sign up there. Uh, it's just the first link down in the description below. We're happy to help you out and get you your goals. And if you're in Toronto now, guys, too, we're doing a lot of personal training. So if you have someone that you'd like to recommend to us, feel free. We've got a couple spots left. Take advantage of it. Me, I sense the jealousy. I got telepathy. I got the recipe. I got the streets and I don't got no felony. For thinking, yeah, my mind is ahead of me. Mama said, it's going to be where you let it be. It's some homies I grew up with that's dead to me. It's some niggas that I just made it dead to me. What's in common is they both pay respect to me. I get in my way from Friday to Friday.
Okay, my gun is a mix. So obviously, our CNS is pretty destroyed there, trying to stabilize that way. You can see with the close grip, you're really kind of battling for it. That's definitely my favorite close grip exercise ever. So if you have access to that bar, I definitely recommend it, adding that to your programming. It's definitely something I'm gonna look into. But because we're pretty fatigued and we don't wanna kill ourselves, we want a good amount of volume, we wanna press pretty heavy. We wanna control the press machine. We're going nice and close here. We're really gonna focus on building that anterior head. We're really gonna pump it up on kind of our push A day here. We do a lot of volume especially with the accessories. So we're gonna really press this out. Then we're gonna move into our laterals. We're gonna hit every head of that delt to really grow it because that's a weak spot for me and something I wanna work on. To build that lateral head because I got little baby shoulders, I like to call them. This is one of my favorite things to do. I used to do it a lot maybe two years ago and I noticed significant shoulder growth. I stopped doing it, I don't know why, but I'm gonna start doing it again. So this rep scheme is real simple. I'm gonna go 20, 18, 16, okay? Then you're gonna, wait, sorry, 20, 18, 15, 12, 10, 8. So obviously you're gonna have to change weight. So I'm gonna start with 15 for this 20 reps. I'm gonna try to hold it for 18. Then at 15, I'm probably gonna have to go up to 20. So we're gonna be increasing weight. So this will just absolutely destroy your shoulders, but it's a ton of fun. Really focus on that good squeeze. Try to minimize that trap use. Like we said in our lateral raise video, if you haven't seen that, really just wanna get it up. And if you can't get your final reps, but you're still using the weight, just think, I gotta get that weight away from me. So even if you're getting little quarter reps here, at the end, get what you can and just think, get it away. Get it away and just use those shoulders to get it away and you will get fantastic contractions on that shoulder. So if you have a hard time growing shoulders like me, implement this, trust me. I, I, so many sacrifices. Straight, straight up. I done gave up so much free time, no time ain't free. free. Get I sacrificed it. Get I My girl showed me less, you know I made sacrifices. I, I, and if it's real, real love, then you make sacrifices. <sighs> Give it a hold on the last one if you're crazy. Oh, thankful I'm not driving back. <laughs> Let's get it, buddy. Come on. Nice. So he's giving a little pause at the top. He's not just swinging away. He's staying in control. He's keeping tension all the way down. He's not letting it drop. It's intelligent reps right there. Let's go, son. Ooh. Time for 20s. So this is where it gets hard because I'm going down to 12. I struggle to 15, but I'm gonna increase that weight to 20. This is where it gets really annoying because it gets heavier. Even though it's less reps, it still kills. Big time of battle of the mind. I will say, guys, this is actually the first time I've ever tried this. When you get to this point, a 15-pound dumbbell lateral raise is absolutely humbling me for eight reps. It's pretty funny how it works when you've done so much work already. It's killer. So for this last set of eight, you're going to be feeling pretty strong, right? We've already been repping this way for a while. So what you're gonna do is give it a two second strong hold. So you can see here, I want a really nice, firm, strong hold. Focus on really squeezing that shoulders, pushing the blood into it, and let's finish this strong. To get ahead, man, you gotta make sacrifices. Yo, oh, that's how hungry my appetite is. Yeah, yeah, I cut the fuck shit drama out my energy. Focus on it, inner me, never on it, inner me. And I done sacrificed my own time, I done sacrificed my own mind, I done sacrificed the club life. I done sacrificed my love life Look, I cut the fuck shit drama out my energy Focus on the inner me Never on the inner me And I done sacrificed Yo You know the baseball, bro? What? Baseball Can't y'all recognize that we all came from sacrifice?